we'll get some like pretty establishing dawn magic rain off of the awnings, dripping down to poor Lawrence. Craddock, we're establishing this nitro bottle again. Lawrence doesn't want to drink, he's moving his head aside. Craddock's not done with him yet, so he kind of laughs. He's going to start heading towards the bar. As he comes up, the player player's terrified. Keep fucking playing, right? So he keeps playing. It's a sad situation for this fellow. Craddock, full of swagger, comes in here. You look restless. You upset about the way we're treating our friend. Lawrence is now pretty bad. Even if he wanted to, he wouldn't be running very fast, right? He's got some cracked ribs. He's not my friend. We're wasting time. Craddock's going to have a seat here. I've known like men like you. It's all the depth. Makes like you agitate. agitate. Takes a shot glass, fills it with nitro. The reason why he's filling this with nitro is because this is a game called Who Has a Bigger Dick? He's bragging, me and Death. We go way back. Craddock thinks he is the baddest ass here, right? Gestures to Drunken Federato. Drunken Federato grabs the wife for us, brings her here. We're gonna dance. You wanna dance, Maria? Yes. We're gonna dance for his benefit. We're dancing. The man is taking this all in. Very important because this is a morality tale being executed for the man's benefit. So his gaze is very important throughout this entire scene. Okay, so that shot glass of nitro he poured before, he was laying this whole plan out. He already knew he was gonna torture her. Okay, come on now. Go bring that nitro glass to your husband. She's gonna start going out there. And she's gonna go incredibly slowly. The man is looking at everything now. He's clocking where the guys are. There's this guy over here at the bar. There's this guy torturing Lauren. He knows there's a guy around here, right? This is when the power in the scene starts to shift. A lot of this is on Ed as he's coming to this decision. It's really important as he's balancing the angels and the devils on his shoulder, right? He's not just looking at the tactical situation here, but he's looking at the emotional situation. Who's he gonna be today? Is he gonna be the villain he's always been, or is he gonna be a hero? And then he starts to speak. And he's basically like, I don't think you know anything about death. All that bragging you just did, you're a child. You don't know shit. Death is always true. Craddock doesn't understand this situation. You think you know death? But you don't. Was that a challenge? He places the gun down here and stands a little bit to intimidate him. Is that so? The reason he's standing is because we're gonna get a thing in his face. The man, you didn't recognize, you didn't recognize him sitting across, across from you this whole time. What does that mean? Little look from Craddock. Did I underestimate you? Too late, motherfucker. This hand is gonna take the bottle here, the bottle of tequila, not the bottle of nitro. In one swift movement, up and into his cheek. Craddock's gonna go down, grabs the gun. I'm gonna try to play this all in one. So, he comes in, blam, shoots him, ricochets his head, bangs it against here, ouch. Man in Black is gonna wrap his head like a crazy dance partner around this guy. We're gonna stumble him out here. Bam, got you. Now there's a motherfucker coming from over here. The man is gonna shoot, he's gonna miss. Oh, that sucks because now that guy's got a shot off. He kills my human shield. But bam, I got you. Now you go into the fountain. Meanwhile, still in one shot, this guy is gonna get the drop on the man. Uh-oh, we gotta turn and shoot that guy. You don't have time, Ed, to think about how much your neck hurts because bam, 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 bam. Here comes this guy. He's running, running, running. Bam, 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 all the time, under siege. All right, now we can finally breathe because everybody's dead except for one fucker who I forgot to talk about. He was the guy who was guarding the wife. The man is still over here. He hears this dumb fuck coming in. Dumb fuck doesn't see him. And bam, right through the ear. He's gonna go down. Now it's quiet. If we can get all that choreographed nicely, then that'll be awesome. Cause it'll be like a, it'll be like rocket fuel shooting us into this thing. Mm -hmm.